Hey guys, uh, you might remember that in my last video I'd hooked up a Yamaha YM2149 sound chip to my homebrew computer. Well, the reason I chose the YM2149 is because it was used in the Atari ST, and there were tons of awesome songs for the ST that came out of the demo scene in the late 80s and the early 90s, and I thought that it would be pretty awesome to try and play some of them on uh, real hardware. But now you might be thinking, these songs were written for a 16-bit computer running at 8 megahertz. So how are you going to play them on an 8-bit computer that's four times slower? You might also be thinking, aren't Atari ST song files basically 68K machine code? So how are you going to execute that on a 6809? Well, the answer is I'm not, but I'm going to take a brute force approach because this computer's got lots of RAM. It's got 512K. So I um, took a program called XSC, which is an Atari song player for the Mac, um, I hacked it up to generate just massive register dumps uh, while it plays songs with um, proper timing values inserted between register writes. Um, and then for the 6809, I just wrote a program that fills the entire memory up with one of these dumps. They're like 508k each, um, fills up all of RAM and just burns through them. Um, no, no idle time, no interrupts, 100% CPU usage, just slamming the YM chip with, with uh, new register values. And um, it actually works quite well. And um, it's not perfect, but I'll let you, uh, let you hear how it sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see, turn on the power and then grab the uh, speaker cable. Where is that guy? It's on the floor. Plug this guy in. Okay. And now let's uh, go up here to the uh, to the screen, and we're gonna type KGYM9 Play, which is the name of the player program, and we've got a few song files on here. These are in a YM9 format. That's my brute force register dump format that I uh, that I came up with. And we're gonna play a song called Chaos by a guy named Scavenger. Enter. Now it takes a few seconds to load because um, CF card loading is kind of slow and it's 512K and it's, or 508K. So I'm just going to put the camera back on the tripod and we're going to turn the volume up here. Let's see, almost done. Getting there, a couple more seconds. And let's let you listen.
gets it, it freezes when it gets to the end. There's only enough room in memory for about three minutes of uh, sound, but it works. Um, thanks for watching.